you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 12th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 17 verses 9 to 13 as they were coming down the mountain jesus ordered them tell no one about the vision until after the son of man has been raised from the dead and the disciples asked him why then do the scribes say that elijah must come first he replied elijah is indeed coming and will restore all things but i tell you that elijah has already come and they did not recognize him but they did to him whatever they pleased so also the son of man is about to suffer at their hands then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about the john the baptist gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends as mentioned the gospel also makes mention of the prophet elijah the passage follows immediately after the transfiguration when three of disciples jesus disciples peter james and john were given a glimpse of jesus as glorious son of his heavenly father during that experience they saw job moses representing the law and elijah representing the prophetic tradition speaking with jesus and thereby clearly endorsing the mission of jesus as messiah including that he told them about his suffering dying and rising again a prophecy which had upset them very much on the way down from the mountain the disciples asked jesus why do the scribes says that elijah has to come first to which jesus replies i tell you that elijah has come already and they did not recognize him but treated him as they pleased Jesus does not really answer the question but confirms that Elijah will come again. In fact, Jesus Jesus says, he has already come but he was not recognized and he was mistreated. Jesus just as Jesus himself will not be recognized and be rejected. The disciples immediately realized that Jesus was speaking of John the Baptist. The role of the written Elijah was to pave the way for the coming of the Messiah. and that is exactly what john the baptist did the first reading from the book of sirach is energetic of elijah but much of it can be applied to john the baptist once again let us see ourselves in the role of john sharing with them with him the responsibility of preparing the way for jesus to come into people's lives and like john and as disciples of jesus we too can expect to have a, to face challenges opposition and perhaps hardships the disciple is not about the master amen may god bless us